AMT Ertl's 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today we got a treat. This is an AMT Ertl 1957 Chevy Bel Air, but it's not the regular old Chevy Bel Air. This was a special redesigned, re-engineered Chevy Bel Air that Round 2 started to make back in the early 2000s, late 1990s, when they were having that competition with Ravel Monogram to build better and better kits. So this is a real beauty. And hopefully Round 2 will re-release this one, as well as their classic 57 Chev that allows you to build it as a 210. Anyway, keep up the good work, and now let's go and open up the box on this old beauty. And now we'll open up the lid on another American classic, the 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air hardtop by AMT Ertl. And this kit is a retooling that came out back in 1998. Again, another competitor model competing with uh, Monogram and Ravel. And we start off with this wonderful instruction sheet which has an image from one of the old sales brochures of the real car. Only cartoonized a bit. Well, maybe that's how it was. You get this nice um, paint color chart for all your components. The wheels are a nice multi-piece set. And here it even has examples on drilling out your spark plug wires. And then the uh, length of the wire to cut them in to, to go from your distributor and your coil in through the rest of your engines, which is quite a nice feature on a model kit. Oh, and as you can see, it's got a multi-piece front suspension. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the steerable wheels, but you could actually cut underneath there and take those pieces, glue them on, and then drill holes and put pins through there so that you can make possible steering. There's our paint charts for the two-tone and solid colors. And then a big note on advanced model building. Your interior your undercarriage with gas can and everything like that. Suspension interior, and note the seat has separate side runners, which was really unique. Separate door panels so you can paint everything inside. The body with the optional fender skirts. The interior top with the pleated roof, as it should be. Dashboard and the car going together and all the details. You even get hood springs and an opening trunk, which was quite rare for this model. And the opening trunk even included a spare tire. So now let's see how it looks in plastic. And first we start with the body. Now I started to work on this kit a little bit, but I only filled the sink holes. I still need to sand those down. But as you can see, there's some nice detail with little slots for where the bumper and all that align, as well as holes for your door handles. You get the ribbed insert in here, denoting that it is a Bel Air. And like I said, underneath, you get the upholstery as well as the dome light and the sun visors. So very excellent on AMT's behalf. There's our hood. And it gives you the V with the Chevy, indicating Chevrolet V8. And look at that fit on there, it's really nice. It's a great kit, for sure. The tires are in a separate bag, along with the engine wiring, which is quite nice. Gives you the white wall inserts. Here we have a very nice chrome tree, which I might just leave in the bag because it protects our chrome. But as you can see, we got individual windshield wiper blades, 
and the proper grill with it broken off there because that piece of chrome goes up with the hood. So again, very nice. There's our interior panel and you can see the textured carpet detail in there. And then underneath all the little ribs and bits, just like the real thing. There's our door panel. You can see the nice crisp detail. It even has the proper upholstery pattern in there, the vinyl. And here we have the dashboard. You can see very, very nice detail in there, as well as our seat. This is the front seat. You can see it's got the room for the side pieces. And here's our suspension assembly on the parts tree. And there's our engine. And the firewall, the radiator, and other pieces. The suspension and the fuel cells. The fuel cell has a top and a bottom to it, just like the real thing. So they're not trying to hide any detail there. Here is our frame. Looks very nice again. This piece here goes behind the back seat. It's the wall between the back seat and the trunk. Speaking of the back seat, there it is. You can see the nice detail with the buttons put in. And because this is separate, it should be fairly easy to paint these panels in, in the different two-tone colors. A runaway part there. <laughs> okay, we have our steering wheel and the spare tire the wheel for the spare tire, as well as our drive shaft and intake manifolds, I do believe, as well as the locks for our wheels to go onto the axles. And here are the wheel backs and the uh, fender aprons or something to that effect. Have to look it up in the instructions. These are a bunch of hoses and they're are the fender skirts, the optional fender skirts. And what else do we have here? Our glass, which I will just leave in the box. But you can see that they've molded this ring under here and there's two holes for alignment. So it should fit in the body nice and easily. And finally, okay, we've got the little red tail lights that go in the back, the sort of half moon, and then there is the trunk lid, which again fits really well in the body. Or, yes, the body. Again, you can see there. Real nice tight fit, just like a real trunk. So, again, quite a lovely model. And that brings us to the conclusion of the 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air by AMT Ertl. Look for it in your local hobby shops. Well, I hope you enjoyed that expose of plastic as we checked out the 57 Chevy Bel Air, the good one. And if you would like to see all the model car, car kits we offer here at Monster Hobbies, please check out our website www.monster-hobbies.ca and like and subscribe to the channel right over here and don't forget to check out these other three classic car unboxings here here and here and until next time keep it real